first it was built to, to race. So it was a race car it was first? designed to race. Correct. This is like a prototype. So this is a prototype of the Ford GT? Uh, and specifically this one, this is one of 30, not 20, that, that, that is wrong. And this is a liquid carbon fiber edition. It is full carbon fiber. The, the rims are carbon fiber. It comes without the carbon fiber rims. This is an optional. Okay. So, well, this is unique. It has the, the exhaust. It's the same brand, uh, Akrapovic. The same brand that makes the... Akrapovic, yeah. The, the, the exhaust for the motorcycles. For the motorcycles. Yeah. So, for Ducati. Yeah. So this is a beast on the track. We, we took it to the track like one month ago. Uh, it is wild. It's wild. Yeah. But guess what? It's got a V6 engine, okay? Yeah, that's it. That's and then it. a lot of people do not realize that it's got a V6 engine, but that V6 engine has more power and more potent power than the V8. Now, Bob Zinzel, tell us why it has a V6. You know why it's got a V6. Come on, tell us why. He knows all about this car. He goes to all the meets. Tell us why. So the V8 couldn't fit in the car. The car was so pretty, the V8 wouldn't fit in the car. So the technicians thought, we also have to meet our carbon. So there is what they call a carbon what is it called? A carbon level that each company has to base basically meet. And because we're going into a world that there's so much pollutants in the air, they're giving huge fines to companies like Bugatti and Aston Martin for not meeting their carbon footprint. That's what it's called, a carbon footprint, okay? So when they had the problem not putting a V8 because the car was so beautifully designed, look at the design, look at the lines of this. I mean, you can have your breakfast in this thing, correct? Would you have your breakfast in it? In it or on it? Oh, on both. <laughs> he had to think twice. Man, anything about this car, you should have it anyway. But the point is, the design was so important. And it was also very important because this car had to go and be the successor of one of the most prolific cars that was ever built. So the original GT40 was built in the 60s. Obviously, for the you've seen the movie, you know, Ford versus Ferrari, and how Ferrari and Ford had this little scrimmage, and Ford beat Ferrari in Le Mans. So when they built the 2005 version of this, which we had last week, that was also to basically celebrate the entirety of the brand Ford GT. But they didn't call it a GT40. The GT40 was called a GT40 because the GT40 was 40 inches off the ground. The Ford GT was just called the Ford GT and it had a whopping V8, 7.3 liter V8. But they wanted to keep the same motor here, but they realized they didn't have the space. So what did they have to do? They either change the design completely or put a V6 engine and make it even faster. And True story, when this car was actually launched, I think in 2019, this car went back to Le Mans and beat Ferrari again, correct? This car, the Ford GT, went back to Le Mans in 2019 and beat Ferrari again. In 17. In 17. Yeah. 2017, yes. So This one is 2019. This is a 2019 car. Take a look inside, guys. I know you're just standing outside. Just take a look. Do not go in there. It's worth, let's do the how much is worth guess. What much do you think it's worth? 800K, good guess. How much do you think this, this is one of five in the world. How much do you think it's worth? 1.5 million. He's close, million. yeah, he's good. Well, you don't have to be telling people what's close. <laughs> Yo, let him in. What do you think this car is worth? 500,000. Okay, let him in. What do you think it's worth? 1.7 million. 1.7 million. Okay, what is it worth? Yeah, it's like almost two million. There you go. So the man in red one, there you go. Well, it is simple. Okay. Like, like the same as the, as the other four. Uh-huh. So.
be as black as me. So please, just in case, okay, give it some space. This is still very toxic. It's still gasoline. It's not electric. 